Hi everyone, I'm here to present to you a new tool for Unity that was created for text-to-image generation with stable diffusion inside Unity. It is very easy to install and use. It takes only a few minutes and you will be good to go. I will show you step by step how to install it with all the useful links in the description. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and or share this video. The more feedback I get about it, the better I can improve it. Without further ado, let's dive in. First, you need a working version of Stable Diffusion Automatic 11.11 running on your local machine. It may work if your server is in the cloud but I haven't tested that, installing Stable Diffusion Automatic 11.11 is not hard but it is outside the scope of this video. So if you haven't yet installed it, I will put a link in the description to the GitHub repository along with a link to another video explaining how to install it. Please pause now and return after you have it installed and running. One important thing is that you need to run the server with the API arguments, so if you haven't done it yet, you need to go to the web UI user.bat and add the dash dash API command to the arguments and start the server. The Unity components will call stable diffusion using the API so this is not optional. Now, let's go to the stable diffusion Unity integration tool. Again, I will put the link in the description for it. Either sync this repo to your machine or click to download the codebase as a zip file. You can also if you prefer just scroll down a bit and download a single Unity package file from the repo and use that instead. I will download the whole repo as a zip file for this demonstration. The whole repo obviously contains the Unity package file if you want to use it later. Then, go to your download and uncompress the file wherever you want. Then open Unity Hub and either click on Open Project and select the folder that you have just installed or create a new project into which you will import the package that you have downloaded. For this demo, I will simply open the Stable Diffusion Unity Integration Project that I have just decompressed. Now, you can go to the Stable Diffusion Unity Integration Package Scene folder, and open one of the scenes included as a demo, either with or without post-processing. I will use the one with post-processing as it looks much nicer. The first thing you will have to do is select the Stable Diffusion Configuration Game object and double-click on Settings to edit the Stable Diffusion Server Configuration. If you are set up like usual, it is highly likely that the default settings will be correct and this should work out of the box. The most important thing is the server URL and port. You can easily compare it with your browser URL. The next step is to get the list of Stable Diffusion models that you have installed in your Stable Diffusion Server. Simply go to the Stable Diffusion Configuration Game object and click on the List Models button. This should take only a few seconds and populate the string array here and you can verify that it has successfully communicated to the running Stable Diffusion server using the API. If nothing happened, you perhaps have not installed any models yet or there was an error communicating with the server. Look at the Stable Diffusion Debug Console window for more information. To continue from here, you will have to make sure you fix the problem. If you can't manage to get the list of models, you will not be able to continue further. You should now be fully set up and ready to use Stable Diffusion to generate images inside Unity. Let's start by looking at the existing scene game objects. Click on the cat painting to select the 3D model or select it from the hierarchy. You will notice in the inspector that it is a cube with a mesh renderer and it has a Stable Diffusion material component attached to it. This is how you can generate a texture for the 3D model by specifying a prompt and the stable diffusion generation parameters including the sampler to use and the stable diffusion model to use. Try to select a model that you have installed on your server and change the prompt and click generate to generate another image, since the seed is set to random at the moment. Now we have to wait a bit until the generation is finished before Unity updates the scene to show the new image we have just generated, here again an oil painting of a cat eating cheese. If you are not happy with the image, you can always change the prompt or just generate another one. If you are wondering what's happening after you click, you can always look at the Stable Diffusion Debug Console window to see the progress of the generation. Sometimes it can take a while, especially when you are changing the Stable Diffusion model, it can take some time to load it before starting the generation. Sometimes, it is useful to generate the same texture for several models at the same time. 
The easiest way to do this is by parenting the objects and generating material in the parent. For instance, select the parent of the walls to generate a texture for both walls at the same time. Note that this game object doesn't have a mesh renderer so it is important that you tick the box, apply recursively, so that it searches mesh renderers in the children of this game object and applies the material to those game objects. Let's change the wall texture from red brick to cinder block and see how it looks. There are also tiling options. You would not use that for a wall frame painting but for a wall texture, it is important to tick the option tiling so that the texture can be generated in a way that it can be tiled seamlessly. There are also parameters to change the tiling option directly here and some other material options that you can change here such as the bump map generation. Play around to learn more about the other options. It is also possible to generate images for UI elements. Navigate to a UI element under the canvas game object. You will be able to generate images for any UI element that has an image or raw image component. I won't go through any generation example here as it is similar to materials. The only difference is that it is using a stable diffusion image component instead of a stable diffusion material component. There are no tiling or bump map options since those were for materials only. That's about it. You can now easily add image generation to any 3D models or UI elements simply by adding a stable diffusion material or stable diffusion image to a 3D model or UI element. Let me know in the comments what you think about this tool. What you like and don't like or what you think I should do next to improve it. Have fun and happy stable diffusing with your projects.